Welcome everyone, here is how you change the app icons on your iPhone running iOS 16. All of the old methods made for iOS 15 and older have this really annoying shortcut notification. If you try and move the notification, all of those guys have also been patched. However, I haven't been patched, I'm unpatchable. We have a brand new method here, fully working on iOS 16. Let's begin. So I'm gonna to move to my device, which hasn't set this up. If you skip this video, this will not work, believe me. Uh, to the people who do get this fully working, because you watch this video first, then attempt to this yourself, please do help the lost causes in the comment section. Quite frankly, I don't have the time. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna open up the Shortcuts app. If you're in this All Shortcuts view, just tap on the back button until you're brought to the home page of Shortcuts. Next, we're going to tap on the plus with the folder icon and it's going to show new folder. Put in this field here apps and then tap on add and now we've created a new folder called apps. Things will get quite cluttered if you do not create this folder. Now tap on the apps folder. You're then going to find at the very top the plus, tap on the plus. You're then going to tap on add action. You're going to tap on the search and you're going to search for notif and you should see show notification. Tap on this one, then tap on the search bar again and you're going to search for open app, tap on this and then select the empty space, tap on that and then tap on the app in question. We do not add this shortcut onto our home screen unlike all of the previous tutorials so keep that in mind. But what we are going to do is we're going to tap on this arrow here. We're then going to tap on rename and you want to rename this shortcut to open and then the app name in question. So in my case, I chose app store. So the shortcut name will be called open app store. If you're using Instagram, you'd use open and then Instagram. Once we've done this, we're going to tap on done. Then we're going to tap on the plus to create a second shortcut. This second shortcut will be added to our home screen. Okay. So we're going to tap on add action, tap on search and search for run short cut. You should see this one right here. Tap on run shortcut. You're going to see the empty space. Tap on this one and then select open app store. Of course, if you used a different app, select that different app shortcut. Now we're going to tap on the arrow again. We're going to tap on rename and we're going to rename this to run, open and then the app name. Okay. So in my case, app store. Again, if you have a different name, use a different name. Let's tap on done. And now we're going to tap on the share icon. And before you just click off, no, this is halfway through the tutorial. There is more. So once we tap on share, we're going to tap on add to home screen. You now can name the app icon how you would like. So I'm going to use app store. You're then going to see the shortcuts icon. Let's tap on this icon here. Select choose photo and then select your custom app icon. If you don't have custom app icons, Pinterest will have a ton. You can also search up custom, the app name and an icon. That's what I did personally. And then tap on choose and then tap on add. So right now we have the custom app store icon, but it's gonna have notifications. It's not gonna work, okay? So before we proceed, open up the settings app, tap on screen time and screen time must be turned on. If it's not turned on, turn it on right now. Then we're gonna open up the app store shortcut. You're gonna see this privacy message. Just tap on allow. And now you're gonna see a notification here and so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this app shortcut a ton of times, okay? So between five to ten times, if you skip this step, things are going to happen, okay? So we'll just do that. That was about five times. So you're going to have a bunch of notifications showing up here. It's very important that you spam open up this app shortcut, otherwise the next step won't work. So now we're going to open up the settings app. We're going to go back into screen time. We're then going to see, see all activity. We're then going to scroll to the very bottom and you're going to see notifications. 
and you're going to notice shortcuts right here. Now, if you tap this a lot of times, you may see this icon here where we can tap into it, but you may also see there is no option to tap into the shortcuts. So if you don't see this little icon here, what you're going to do is you're going to see we have the day and then the time, slide back the time once, slide it back, and then you're going to repeat spam opening up this shortcut here, do it five times or so, okay, spam open, right, then go back into settings, scroll to the bottom, and you should be able to tap on this here. Now I can't tap on it, so I'm going to go back, and do it one more time, okay, so it's a little bit glitchy, but once this works once, you never need to worry about it again, okay, so I think that looks good. Let's go back into settings, screen time, see your activity, and there we go, the arrow shows up. So you saw, took multiple attempts, open up the app icons, go to the screen time settings. If the arrow doesn't show up, repeat the process until it shows up. Now, where it says allow notifications, we're gonna turn this off. Very important, every time you restart your device, shortcut notifications will turn itself back on. The only workaround is you go back into the shortcut settings and turn this back off. If that gets annoying, try and prevent your iPhone from dying. My iPhone hasn't died in literal months, okay? And now, when we open up the app, there is no more notification. Look how cool this is, okay? You may notice this little notification is trying to show up and then disappears. If you have a newer iPhone, okay, that won't even show up either. Because what we're doing is we run the shortcut and then we show a notification. And that notification which shows up blocks that really annoying banner, okay? This banner is blocked thanks to that other notification. On the newer iPhone, such as iPhone 12, 13, etc., because the shortcut runs so fast, you can see it, it doesn't show any banner at all. But on the older iPhone, such as iPhone 10 and iPhone 8, you can see, boom, it, it will show up sometimes, but rarely, and it will go and disappear when we open up the app in question. Now, when you repeat this multiple times, just keep in mind, you do not need to do the step of spam opening up the app, okay? Once you have configured screen time to block the notifications from shortcuts, all you do is you follow the steps to have this app icon on your home screen, and then open it up and enjoy. It may take a couple of attempts before the notifications remove themselves for good, okay? So you may need to open up a bunch of times, but after that, you're good to go. Yes, this tutorial is a bit longer than I'd like. However, it's either this or annoying notification shortcut pop-up. Choose whichever one you would like. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.